Police don't solve mental health. Behavioral health experts do. Policing can't solve homelessness. Homes do. Policing doesn't solve addiction. Treatment and care does. All communities have problems. All communities get into crisis. All communities want public safety, but not all communities feel comfortable calling 911, and not all communities feel comfortable having the police in their home. How can we triage this? not using the police as the portal. Because what we also know is that people want to have solutions to their problems, but they don't necessarily want to be funneled through the justice system. According to the study, police in cities across the country spend about 30 to 40% of their time responding to totally non-criminal calls. But across the 10 cities, it was only about 0.5% to 1.8% of their time that police were dealing with what some think police are there to deal with, violent crimes, including assaults, rape, murder, and shootings. We have to stop assuming that law enforcement, uh, that the first responder that is law enforcement can and is willing to uh, address a, a level two problem with level two force. Um, instead, what we see is that problems get addressed with the same level of force. And so asking law enforcement who are probably overworked, over traumatized and unsympathetic at this point to certain kinds of calls are using the same kind of adrenaline and the same kind of tactics to deal with an armed robbery as they are dealing with someone who's mentally ill. And it's not safe um, for communities. Where is that money going to go if it's not going to law enforcement? Um, and, you know, our, our response is, you know, what we see on Cahoots is, is crisis is informed by an inability to meet basic needs, you know, an inability to access resources. And so when we're looking at how a community could use public safety dollars for true safety of the public, we need to be looking at things like basic needs, you know, mental health services, uh, better substance abuse treatment, you know, uh, low barrier shelters. And, and, you know, when, when we talk to these folks that really just don't want to see any of that money get cut from, from that police budget, you know, then, then what, what is the alternative? How else are we going to be able to meet those needs? How can you solve problems without going through that system? Because once you're in it, you never get out of it. Um, and folks don't always want that to be the solution. We can tie this into 911. We can tie this into our community-based services. And we actually don't need um, law enforcement to be the first ones to respond. We can work in partnership with them, sure. We can work in partnership with a lot of folks. but. That's not the goal. The goal would be to have community-based services responding to the community's needs.